Hello and welcome back to vlog number two. Um, I'm here today with my lovely sister. Thank you so much for coming. Anytime that I have to do your nails. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So part of my body confidence was taking some me time and so every three weeks I get, I get new nails because I really, really love the way they look. It also helps with my self-esteem, my self-confidence, because I am an avid nail biter. So if I don't have mm -hmm. fake nails, I bite my nails like crazy. I don't know if that's to do with anxiety or what, but having a fresh set of new nails every three weeks really helps. And my sister is a trained nail technician, so mm -hmm. she does that for me. And it's a great bonding time as well. So my support systems, um, getting my friends to help out, my sister and my family to help out is already set in place through that. So that helps as well. Well, and then my cat is probably in the background he might join us for a little bit as well so um have you ever had body confidence issues we'll just get right into it all <laughs> the freaking time basically my whole life as soon as I figured out that you could have a bad body I thought I had one hey. um, mm -hmm. there was a time where like I kind of liked myself in high school when I lost a lot of weight with like when I was dancing and cheer um, but I also had a lot of anxiety and I was throwing up almost every day, which mm -hmm. gave me cavities <laughs> and it was really bad for me. So, but I didn't really start to like my body until after high school when I got my first tattoo. Body modifications can often make it so that you like yourself more. So like, I've never really liked my nose, but now I have a nose ring and I really like it. Yeah. So body modifications is just a different form of body positivity, at least I think. Yeah. When I got my first tattoo, I started liking my body again. Yeah. And then, I went through another cycle of where like I gained all of the weight and I felt bad because I didn't like my body anymore and but I still had like I used to like it so I was mm -hmm. like what was wrong with me why don't I like it I see confident people liking it and they're whatever weight they are and yeah so it was really tied into my fitness and just like how skinny I was and yeah. I, mine is very similar where I only feel good about myself when I feel thin and when I'm fit and when I'm working out yeah. but like when you work out you get those endorphins and you feel like you're actually completing and doing something mm -hmm. and I also find my body's not as sore which is kind of counterintuitive and kind of weird because you're sore because you're working out but sitting down mm -hmm. all the time makes me at least me I'm very, I'm very yeah. sore if I sit down all the time and like I get migraines really really bad I know if I've been as I'm watching too much TV if I get a migraine because <laughs> I'm like okay I haven't got playing off the couch in three weeks I should probably do something <laughs> so in school did you ever not want to do phys ed because of body confidence or were you always okay with it um there was a few times because I was a dancer um I was pretty used to wearing like leotards and tights so I was used to seeing my body that way mm -hmm. um but around other dancers who were also wearing leotards. So when it came to gym time, if we weren't dancing, which I knew I looked good doing, mm -hmm. if we were doing like any other sports, I was definitely like, I hit a little bit more and put on more clothes because there's a lot of girls we could wear whatever we wanted in high school. And there's a lot of girls wearing like short shorts and tank tops. And I was wearing like sweatpants and like giant hoodies and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And it was always about like how like, nice your calves looked and also how shaved your legs were and it was ridiculous but okay. yeah so did it mainly start in high school then for you were you fine in elementary and junior high well my, i had a really good support system in junior high where we were just like a bunch of nerds and we all just felt really confident with each other That's good. and so that was kind of nice and then yeah more so started in high school mm -hmm. so did you not have the like click or your nerd group then in high school then yeah so I was no sport yeah I was friends with all my cheerleaders mm -hmm. and of course all of them were really fit and looked really good and mm -hmm. I was like I probably like looking back on pictures now I did look really good and mm -hmm. I don't know why I didn't think I did yeah. but I just couldn't see that like all I saw was extra skin and stuff for those that start younger so I, um, my body confidence issue started in about grade three grade four what do you think teachers can do to help get support systems for their girls and boys that have issues. Do you think there's anything that teachers can do? Um, definitely lots of group work, I guess, like really enforcing like friends are really good for you and making good friend connections and mm -hmm. saying like, you know, if something's not working out with your friends, maybe you need to find new friends. And I guess just talking about it, like mm -hmm. being really open about it and it's okay to feel those feelings even at that age, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. yeah. Cause that would be like, there, I bet a lot of kids aren't, like too scared to do that because no one's talking about it again. But do you think yeah. it's the teacher's job to bring it up and talk about body confidence? Do you think that like, or is that overstepping their boundaries? I don't think it's overstepping their boundaries. 
Um, I definitely think parents should be talking about it, but you know, you can't control a home where it's a little bit easier to control it in the classroom. <laughs> yeah. And you definitely know you're going to be reaching where like the parents reach just one kid. Mm -hmm. And then this way, if anyone has any questions, you can get in a really good discussion if you're in a class with a bunch of kids. I guess I'll do my update of how things are going for my personal journey of trying to be more confident in my body. Um, I mentioned in last video that one of my obstacles that I'm going to encounter is weekends. I have not done anything to improve upon weekends last night. <laughs> Matt and I um, did our usual weekend thing. We had takeout, we had burgers. Um, I did try to go for a healthier uh, version, so I didn't have the bun. I had a protein style instead, mm -hmm. which is you know, something. Mm -hmm. um, turned out it was good. We still had our usual weekend where we had takeaway and um, drank and just hung out the two of us. So we didn't go out and go ice skating or try to go for another day of working out. Um, I also missed Friday this week because I ended up working and I didn't even clue in that the uh, the dental office I was at is across the street from the gym that I used to go to. Oh no! Didn't even clue into it. Went right after. Right, it would've been great. So I'm gonna do that next week. I'm gonna bring my swimming stuff uh, if they've got open lane swimming or um, nice. go on the treadmill or something. I'm gonna do that because I have way easier. Uh, two more shifts. The next two Fridays, I'm still working at this dental office. I'll go and exercise there and do some swimming. I haven't been swimming in a long time. It's something that I. Um, really enjoy. I uh, just haven't gone out and actually purchased a bathing suit because my last one kind of fell apart in the pool and I haven't been confident in my body enough to go swimming at Mount Royal and there's no more hot tub so it's not even like I get the joy of a hot tub after it whereas that was like a big impetus for me to go swimming <laughs> as well I love hot tubs for reason. but uh, the, the hot tub's been broken for a while so Dang. they and there's no hope of fixing it. Yeah, I've had some obstacles this week. It hasn't been super great for weight loss. I've been trying some new recipes though, and I do love to cook. So um, that has been really good. The gratitude journaling, I did buy a journal specifically for it because I had no other things in it. And oftentimes like when you're starting something new, you want something pretty to make it, to put it in. Mm -hmm. So I got this. Was I successful with that? No. I only wrote in twice this week. I found it very, very difficult to do the gratitude um, journaling and actually like being able to pick out five parts of my body or five functions of my body that I was thankful for and that I appreciated and that I was okay with. And then I only had to write about three of them and I barely got three of them every time. I really struggled with it. So that's something that I'm gonna have to find a routine, get into a routine with writing it. Um, I was doing it right before bed and um, that didn't work out because I was just always so tired and I would forget to do it. And I thought I would do it during my homework, but my homework time doesn't always happen every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> so I can probably do it with breakfast and try something there. Um, I find I feel more confident in the morning, really? so maybe at least about my body, it looks good. <laughs> You're more open in the morning because you you don't have all of those like shields and blocks on yet. Yeah. So, um, you're supposed to be a better writer in the morning. I have no idea if that's true or not. That makes sense. I don't know. That's why you always do literacy in the morning when you're teaching. It's, apparently, it's better. Huh. <laughs> Science. Hey, yeah. <laughs> the fact that people have gone out and studied this. Right. <laughs> yeah. But my support system is there. Matt actually watched the last video. Um, Ooh. Yeah. He well, he didn't watch it. I should say he listened to it. Okay. We had a good discussion about it. I will I'll probably get in a boy's point of view for the next couple of weeks because it's just completely different than girls getting a different perspective of girls always want to be thinner boys wanting to be more muscular more athletic looking mm -hmm. but not thin so yeah. it's interesting about that so hopefully this week goes a little bit better with my gratitude journaling making plans for the weekend so that I can up the amount of times that I'm working out trying to still get the six times a week instead of five times a week but my actual workouts are going well we'll see you next week Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs>